I hope you can hear me. This is going to be the most slacking and lazy ass quick tutorial I've ever made because I did it again and the fucking fraps changed my mic button and I'm pissed. So, what you're going to want to do is create your object. Let's Right, my default texture already has. Just pretend you don't. Next thing you want to do is, while you have the object selected, go to Edit UV, then go to UV Type. In here, that's a texture, which you won't see. It will just look like this. Okay. Um, go to Polygons. In here you will want to save it as a PNG. I have to save it as a BMP because I elaborated on my problem last night. Um, click browse, go to wherever the fuck you want to save it to. I always save my shit to my user folder because it's the easiest folder to get to quick as fuck and it's perfect for temporary files. Um, this is your text resolution, which you can change after, but it's best to export it at the same resolution because it will be perfectly accurate with what you're going to create. Click OK when you want to extract it. And when you uh, do this, do the browse, and you type your file name, you have to type the file extension after, because this program is ghetto old school, and if you don't, then it won't save it. Alright, once you got your texture extracted, you can close the UV editor because you don't need it anymore. From here, you are going to go to Photoshop. In Photoshop, you will use your guide, pretend I opened it, and made this texture. Alright, so, this is the one that I made like 10 minutes ago, the one that you saw on Maya is the one that I made last night. Um, where the fuck... That was my guide, which will be your PNG for Right? So it's got like the actual grid points of where the fuck the shit is. And just so you know, the very center of the line is actually where it starts from. So let me toggle it on and off. See how these don't go through the actual whole green line? It's because the geometry is the very center of the line, the reason for it is pretty simple because it would be inaccurate with one pixel due to the fact that the edge has to be one pixel, because the edge of the edge is the edge of the vertexes. Anyways, you understand that part. So, making a bump map, you will basically... Um, depending on what your texture is, you will most likely use your texture to make your bump map. What I did was remove the shadow from in here, because um, the bump map works on black and white. Black is lower, white is higher. And as you can see, this is darker, so it's going to be intruding from the actual rest of the shit. Um, I did leave this texture in here for my bump map. Actually, I'll open it so you can see it. it makes it a lot easier than explaining it. See, no shadow. And see how I got this gradient in here? That is, um... I always use an inner glow because it's just like the same on both sides cheesier and easier than doing a fucking gradient. Um, using Technique Precise, by default that's on softer, which is like shadowy, if you know what I mean. Like smooth and rounded around the edges. These are perfect cut, cut 45 degree angles, which is exactly what it would look like if it was angled metal. So that's what I wanted on. I'm going to fix this up right now because I did leave the texture on these things. And I do not want that there, so I'll just quickly uh, go through here and remove all the patterns on these layers. It looks like it didn't do anything, but trust me it did, because uh, the renders that I had previously done showed ugly bump maps when using really strong effects. Alright, so going to exit Photoshop because we're done making our texture, ha ha ha. 
Now, uh, ignore this thing. I'm just create a new cube, which yes, it will show up the fucking same. And I don't create a new cube. Fuck! I wasn't supposed to do that. Stupid mic button. Alright, when you get your cube, what you want to do is sign new material. Um, generally, the only two things you're going to use are Blin and Lambert. You can also use Fung, which as you can see, Fung looks a lot like Blin. It's just uh, more accurate. There's a lot of other things you can do with the Fung shader too. It's more in-depth than the Blin. What I'm going to be using for both of these is Blin because it gives a good reflection so you can see the bump map better. Although in video games, um, I don't know. It. I don't even know like in UDK what the difference would be like. I think you'll probably go with Blin for the majority of shit that you want to have any reflection of light whatsoever though, so we're going to go with Blin just so I can show you the bump. Alright, um, <coughs> I, you can't see my attribute under one. When you assign a new material, this shit will show up, although it would say blend one, most likely. I think I've added a bunch of blend textures into this, so we're going to go color. Color is your main and you want to choose a file, obviously. So that's what you want for now go click. When you get back to, uh, it might not be on this window, just go right on the right and then go to blend. And then click on. In here, click file. This is the setting that I was talking about that you can like make strong effects or whatever. Um, I don't know if this effect gets exported to the UDK, but if it does, it's very strong. 1.0 is like really 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 strong I don't know how it works I think 1.0 would be like it's either one unit which is like one of these grids here or 100 percent of the depth of the face I don't know though so generally under 2.0 or 0 0.2 is what you're going to use But I'm setting it to 0 0.350 because then in Maya you'll be able to see it better. In games, as far as I know, you use 1.0, but the 1.0 in games is a hell of a lot different than Maya. I accidentally did not set a file to this, so pretend. Alright, I got my bump map file in there, and I realize now that this is the wrong Lambert shader, or it is a Lambert shader. And it's there we go. I already have this thing set for good render settings, so I'll show you. Actually, I'm going to do something hilarious quick. Now every time that I click Control D, it will duplicate the things that I just did.
Ah. Uh, I know it was duplicate special, but I have to actually do the original with duplicate special, so fuck it. Render time. I already have this set on high quality renders, and that's what I was talking about with the ugly bomb map. That was a previous. Definitely does not render that fast on high. See, I fixed that bomb map. I knew I did. That shit actually looks dope as fuck. Anyway, I like my bumps. Alrighty, that should be good, right? Yeah, I think you. If you need help, like, understanding how to make textures in Photoshop, which is what I did in the first two videos, I can obviously make that video and not fuck it up this time. Um, either way, I will catch you tonight. Alright.